As I look to find other protein powders that are NSF certified, of course, I came across a company called BioSteel. This is a company I didn't know anything about. I randomly found them actually by looking on the National Science Foundation list of approved products. And when I saw how many products they had listed on there, I thought I gotta try it out, right? So today's video is about BioSteel whey protein powder. Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis of them, then give them my own rating to help you decide if they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all my products with my own money unless they are given to me for free by the manufacturer. And if that's the case, I'll always let you know at the beginning of the video. Okay. I have to admit, I am a rookie when it comes to the supplement stuff. I've been working out and taking supplements since I was 18 years old but it took me until I started this channel just over a year ago to actually do the investigating I needed to find out more about supplements. Throughout my research, I have found that supplements are important, but they should have a few simple things. One, be NSF certified. Two, be low in sugar. And three, don't have any artificial sweeteners or additives. Pretty simple, right? So when I found out about BioSteel, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of their products have about one gram of sugar in them and maybe some stevia leaf extract for flavoring. Who are these BioSteel people anyways? What is this all about? Who started it, by the way? Well, after researching it on the internets, I found out that it was started by a guy named Matt Nickel. He was a former strength and conditioning coach for the Toronto Maple Leaves, and he and some scientists came up with this kind of hydration sports drink with amino acids in it. It got very popular amongst the players and kind of slowly spread to other NHL players on other teams. But it was not known as BioSteel at that time. It was just known amongst other NHL players and their conditioning coaches. After rave reviews from the players, it slowly made its way to some of the most prestigious locker rooms in the NHL. It started spreading on social media feeds everywhere because the drink was very straightforward and contained simple ingredients that didn't include any fillers, artificial sweeteners, mystery ingredients, and stimulants like sugar. It was a clean hydration drink that delivered the essential nutrients needed to power physical activity. Soon it got really popular and people were hashtagging it, drink the pink because it was pink in color. It also spread to athletes in other sports leagues like the NBA, the MLB, and even professional golfers. In 2009, John Salenza and former NHL player Mike Camilleri built the brand into what it is today. Now a lot of notable athletes are signed to this brand and they include people like Luka Doncic of the Dallas Mavericks, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, NHL players Connor McDavid and Tyler Seguin, U.S. women's soccer star Kristen Press, and many, many others. After looking over their website, I was super impressed by how many brands they had and almost every one, maybe every one, was certified by the NSF. So it gave me a lot of confidence in them. I found out not only do they offer hydration mixes and protein powders, they also offer many other things like sports drinks and specialty nutrition powders. With all this evidence growing in their favor, I thought I gotta try some of this protein powder and see what it's all about. I settled on their least expensive protein powder, the 100% whey protein powder in chocolate flavor because I had to test it. But before we get to testing this, can you do me a favor? If you think you're gonna learn something from my video and you're liking it so far, can you just slightly tap that like button right there? As you probably know, the YouTube algorithm is very important for my channel. It helps push it out there to people who don't know me. And who knows, maybe they'll like my videos too. But I really appreciate that. But before we get to testing and tasting this product, let's see what's in the box. I'm in As you saw from that segment, I did get some of their BioSteel hydration mix, but we're not here to talk about hydration mix today. We're here to talk about protein powder. So here's what I got. By the way, I did do a YouTube short on the hydration mix. If you check out YouTube shorts, you can watch that video. Anyways, here it is, 100% whey protein powder. Just so you know, BioSteel does offer a 
100% whey protein isolate. And you're probably thinking, whey protein isolate, what is that? Well, I'm here to tell you what it is. A few little differences. First off the bat is this has 24 grams of protein and their whey protein isolate has 28 grams of protein. Another thing is it's also about $15 more expensive. It also has a lower carb count. And here are a few other facts about whey protein isolate according to Healthline. Whey protein isolate also has a lower lactose content. This means that it could be a better choice for those who are lactose intolerant. Luckily, I am not lactose intolerant. For all of you out there who are, I recommend getting the whey protein isolate. Your stomach will thank you for it. Next, let's check out the label. So even though it says it's 100% whey protein, on the label it says it's whey isolate dominant, RBGH hormone free, no artificial flavors or colors. And the last two things it says on the front that have a little asterisk next to it say, helps build lean muscle and supports muscle repair. Now if you follow the asterisk to the back, and check it out, there's a little statement from the FDA and it says, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, blah, blah, blah. But just so you know, every single legitimate protein powder out there, whether it's NSF certified or not, is going to have that FDA statement on it. Per this article from WebMD, the FDA doesn't approve protein supplements or test them like conventional medications. Because of that, you can't always be sure what's in them. That's why I try to use supplements that are NSF certified for sport. That third party testing adds an extra degree of comfort for me. But wait, there's more. There's some other neat things about it. There's no artificial sweeteners, gluten and soy free, non GMO. Also, it's only 120 calories. 120 calories, that's like drinking air. And the most fun thing about this protein powder, I know it sounds funny to say fun thing about a protein powder, but if you look at the ingredients and the vitamins here, you can say with assurance that all this stuff listed here is actually in the product. Why? Because it's NSF certified. Am I preaching too much about NSF certified products? I probably am, and if I am, I apologize. You can see my passion for it. Now let's get to the important stuff. How does it taste? When I drink protein powders, I like to keep them very clean on my journey to get more fit. I followed the directions on the back and it basically said, add one scoop to eight to 16 ounce of water. And I messed up the very first time, of course. I put one scoop in with 16 ounces of water, mix it up, tasted it, and it tasted pretty much like water with this slight hint of chocolate mix. Not good. So the second time I went out and I put 10 ounces of water in it, with one scoop of protein powder. By the way, one scoop of protein powder is 24 grams of protein. And that didn't taste great either. So finally, I said, hmm, eight ounces with one scoop. And you know what? That finally worked. Now, it's a very different flavor than my ladder protein powder. My ladder stuff is a little more condensed and the flavor's a little stronger. BioSteel came out frothier and the flavor is not that strong. It didn't knock me off my feet and say, boy, I can't wait to drink that again, which was a little disappointing. However, I have to say, I met the great Jack LaLanne once during a film shoot. And for those of you who know who Jack LaLanne is, it was pretty amazing. But one of the things he said to me was this, and I'll always remember it. He said, if it tastes good, spit it out because it's probably bad for you. I laughed at that at the time, but later on realized, hmm, he's probably right. And heck, he lived to be 99 years old and was still in great shape when I saw him. So. You gotta kinda believe him. That's not to say go out and get things that don't taste good and eat and drink them. I don't actually mind the flavor. I just need to get used to it a little bit because it doesn't have that much chocolatey flavor. And it's probably because it only has one gram of sugar in it and some stevia leaf extract for flavoring. Later when I was making protein powder drinks, I decided to throw in like half a banana one time, then I threw in two ounces of blueberries another, and then two ounces of raspberries another, and it really helped out with the flavor and it only added a few more calories and added some nice fiber in there as well. So after using this protein powder for a little over a week, what are the pros and cons of it? First, the pros. 
It started with professional sports teams and grew into something bigger. I love the authenticity of this product. NSF certified for sport can pick between plant whey isolate and whey protein powders, only 120 calories. Although I noticed something strange after I finished this video, I happened to be double checking a fact about BioSteel's whey protein powder on their site, and I realized the container on their site said the protein powder contains 110 calories per scoop. The one I received said it had 120 calories. It even said that it had 120 calories in one place on their website. Which one is right? I don't know. But luckily, it's only a 10 calorie difference, so I'm not that concerned. Now the cons. Doesn't knock my socks off with flavor. Only 25 servings per container. I wish it was 30 servings per container because 25 is kind of a weird number. It's less than a month, so you have to buy more. Hmm, maybe they're smarter than I think. Now let's get to my own rating system, the three Ps, which is comprised of price, performance, and staying power. First, the price. What is the price of this product? Is it worth the money? 25 servings of the 100% whey protein is $44.99, not including shipping. You get free shipping when you buy over $50 of products. That's equal to around $1.80 per serving. 30 servings of Ladder Whey Protein Powder, the brand that I'm currently using, is $59.95, which includes shipping. That's equal to around $2 per serving. As a test, I calculated shipping from BioSteel to Southern California, where I live, if I had ordered under $50 of product, and it came out to $9.97, or $10 just to make it easy. That made the new calculation for BioSteel equal $54.99 for 25 servings. $54.99 for 25 servings is around $2.20 a serving. Ladder protein powder is less expensive and their product comes in 30 serving containers. So for price, I'll give it a six. Next is performance. How did this product perform? It's hard to say how the BioSteel whey protein powder performed after using it just over a week, but I will come back and give you an update. I'm not super hyped with the flavor, but I'll order the vanilla to see how that tastes. So for performance, I'm gonna give it a seven with an asterisk. Finally, staying power. Is this a one and done product, never to be used again? Or will I use this in the future? I think I'm gonna get used to the flavor over time, and with me adding fruit to help out, it's not really a problem. I don't really mind blander tasting things if they are good for me. I do like the fact that BioSteel has so many products that are NSF certified. It makes me wanna try their other products as well. So for staying power, I'll give it an eight. So what's the final tally? Price, six. Performance, seven, with an asterisk. Staying power, eight. That comes to a total average score of seven, with an asterisk. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Of course, subscribe if you want to, and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos coming out. They come out on Saturdays and Tuesdays, by the way. And if you guys have a product you want me to review, and enough of you comment about the same product in the comments down below, I might even do a video about it. Finally, you can hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi, where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one. Be